18th of August, 1944, desperate pleas by the Polish Home Army and the American and British governments to Stalin to ask for more support for the resistance and underground go unheeded. The American ambassador had gone to go and see Stalin himself personally, and a young George Kennan, who would later go on to play an integral role in shaping America's foreign policy during the Cold War, described uh, the discussion that the ambassador had had with Stalin uh, when he came back and told Kennan. He said that Stalin had effectively said, we intend to have Poland lock, stock and barrel. We don't care about these underground resistance fighters, and if they and the Germans want to kill each other, well, that's fine by us. Even the Germans can't understand what's going on. The commander of the SS forces throughout the city, Erich von den Bach, writes in his diary, the Poles are fighting bitterly, house by house, and every hour we're waiting for the Russians to attack. He even sends an offer to the Polish commander, Bor Komorowski, to join forces to fight the Russians, an offer that was rejected. Fighting street to street, house to house, meant that death could come at any time. On the 18th of August, a young Polish resistance fighter called Wacław Zagorski is looking for food. And somewhere on the front line, there's a dentist's office, which is neither controlled by the Polish or the Germans. As he slowly creeps into the office, he sees through the window a German soldier sitting on the ground. He takes out his rifle, takes aim, and shoots the man dead. In his memoirs, Vatswav recalls how he always felt so guilty about that because the man hadn't been trying to kill him, didn't have a gun in his hands, and he felt that that was murder. Thanks for watching this episode of 63 Days of Extraordinary Courage, where every day we tell the story of a people who refused to surrender and fought for freedom. Make sure you tune in for tomorrow's episode at 5 p.m. Warsaw time, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, and share your reaction, your views, and your comments using the hashtag 63days.